Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Abracad Tiny House. My name is Sherry, and today is December 24th, Christmas Eve. And I wanted to share a story that I would share with my son when he was little. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The night before Christmas, Clement Clark Moore. Twist the night before Christmas all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were snuggled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her handkerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday of objects below. When wet to my wondering I should appear, but a miniature sleigh and tight, tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapids than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet and Cupid and Donner and Vixen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle mount to the sky. So up to the housetop and courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little huff. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished from ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His drool little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his beard of his chin was white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle, but I heard him explain ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Well, everyone, thank you for joining me and letting me read you this story. I hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas. So Merry Christmas, everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.